Why in the morning, family? We are back with Why in the morning, as we promised earlier. Uh, so I like Tuesdays so much because I get to meet CEOs and founders, and I have another one in studio with me. But before that, White Five Four channel on Twitter, White Five Four underscore channel on Instagram, and White Five Four on Facebook is the way to reach us. Don't forget the hashtag Why in the morning, or you can hit me up directly at It's by Mo. So I have Majuma in studio, is the founder and CEO of Maju Chaks Makeup, and she's so passionate about beauty. Uh, and uh, she has other aspects to, uh, to her as well, which she's going to be telling us about. Karibu sana. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if I missed anything, uh, Mwajuma, your camera is number four. You can list all your credentials, uh, like you, <laughs> the uh, way you like them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my name is Mwaju. mm -hmm. Mwajuma. Mwajuma Shamsi and Paul. Mm -hmm. that is Mwaju is the Ndoji Yeah, Ndoji Namtani. Yeah. So I combined the Mwaju Chucks. Mm -hmm. Chucks is my husband's name. Uh -huh. So I did Mwaju as half, mm -hmm. Chucks as my hubby. All right. Uh, so you're married, you have a family. Yeah, I'm married, you have a family. Uh -huh. Two. Yeah. Oh, a family of two. So uh, a child and a husband. No, no, no. no. Or two kids. Two kids, uh -huh. kids and a hubby. Yeah. All right, they're supporting this so much. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay, before he started supporting it. Uh -huh. See, like a uh, waste or something. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, uh, maybe we can change microphones. I think your voice is quite audible than mine. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you can use that one. Uh, uh, I want to take you back yeah. to after high school. Yeah. You joined college to study IT. Yeah. All right, tell me about this phase of your life. Okay, it was not a bad experience because uh -huh. I, I really needed to know about computers and all. Uh -huh. But after that, mm -hmm. um, I was so much into beauty. Mm -hmm. Okay, I started hustling for myself. Like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm not in a, I'm not from a very good background. Mm -hmm. Okay, I started hustling for myself uh, in a beauty shop, mm -hmm. where make uh, where okay beauty got into me so much. Mm -hmm. I was looking up to like making some cash so I can maybe go back to college and do mm -hmm. something different. So you had to drop out of college for a while. For a while, yeah. Mm -hmm. So looking at my my way of doing that. I had to make a side hustle mm -hmm. to get some fee. Maybe I can support myself and do mm -hmm. something different. Mm -hmm. Before then, mm -hmm. okay, um, my uncle told mm -hmm. me, like, since there's nothing you're doing at home, mm -hmm. maybe you can join an Islamic, uh, an Islamic studies, mm -hmm. where I went to Aisha Center. It is uh, mm -hmm. along Sigona. I spent there for, like, uh, a year and a half mm -hmm. studying Islam. Mm -hmm. So after I finished, so my dad was looking up to me like I'll be a teacher or something, uh -huh. or something, you know. Yeah. So uh, where's the Fundisha Madrasa? Yeah, I can do such. Uh -huh. But I tried, it didn't work for me. Like it didn't work for you. Uh -huh. You see, um, what you yeah. being a teacher is a calling or something. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> so experience yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't like it so much, mm -hmm. though I didn't take it uh with a big experience i just mm -hmm. did one or two because mm -hmm. I, I used to do like for families not, mm -hmm. not really in a school or personal classes uh, personal homeschooling, classes, and, homeschooling and, and all that exactly. so you did this for a while for do you get paid un kazi yeah in? they normally pay you mm -hmm. yeah so apo hiyo ilikuwa hustle yako nyingine bado ulikuwa salon ukifanya beauty stuff okay i was not in the salon at the moment mm -hmm. yeah all right, so uh, you had to go through Kufundisha uh, Watoto. Yeah. You figure out Kile Unapenda. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. So, Ulijifunza uh, Muliandea Shule? I didn't go to any school. Mm -hmm. Actually, Nilijifunza Munyewe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Due to passion or something. All right, so uli, uli, you were just watching people Kijifunza, yeah. picking and practicing exactly, on other people. Exactly, yeah. All right, how would you define makeup? Makeup is a good thing. Mm -hmm. It. Uh, it okay, it gives someone confident, mm -hmm. self esteem, peer, mm -hmm. up and juki, I see. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're dolled up, kind mm -hmm. of you just feel you're something. Dolled you up know? is the time you use uh, yeah. after we make, we make our makeup. Kabisa. Yeah, exactly. So you're dolled up. Yeah. Oh, I learn new things <laughs> every <Yeah>. Tuesday <laughs> on my in the morning. So if you'd like to get dolled up, she'll be sharing uh, social media handles in a few. But White Five Four channel on Twitter, White Five Four underscore channel on Instagram, and White Five Four on Facebook. Or it's very more. It is the way to reach us. Uh, White Five Four. Uh, why hashtag why in the morning rather and entrepreneurship Tuesday are the hashtags you can use on social media to interact with us. So dollar.
Yeah. So you're in the business of dolling up people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I like this. So makeup gives you that self-confidence. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Uh, what else did you say about makeup? The self-esteem, yeah. you know, you just feel you're good. You All just right. feel beautiful. Self-esteem yeah. and the rest of them. So, uh, Kumanisha team natural, I want a self-confidence and a self-esteem. Okay, to start with, as you can see, I don't mm. have any makeup on myself. Mm. Like so, that. it has to start with you. Mm. You have to accept you. Mm. The natural you are. Because, mm. okay, God made us so beautiful. Mm -hmm. We don't have to put makeup to look beautiful. Exactly. Mm. So, it's not about makeup mm -hmm. for you to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. You have to start with yourself. Right. Love yourself first mm -hmm. before you even go to makeup. Right. Makeup is there to enhance your beauty, not to like change you mm -hmm. completely. It's to enhance your beauty. One That's it. Usema, uh, makeup, a false advertising. Uh, okay, I being a victim, mm -hmm. my hubby doesn't like makeup at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. so funny. Yeah, see, we are well that. represented. Yeah, in yeah, the yeah. Family. Exactly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So he doesn't like makeup at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Initially, we used to fight, fight fast. Mm -hmm. When I was starting makeup, I had to do myself mm -hmm. makeup so mm -hmm. as I can show people what I do, mm -hmm. and at least they can demonstrate myself, mm -hmm. learning my work on myself. Mm -hmm. It was not easy because he couldn't like pick it. He's like, okay, no, I just don't like you doing this A B C D X Y Z. But at the end of it. He came to like, okay, it's to okay. Understand. Yeah, to understand it. Right. But when we were going maybe for family out or something, uh -huh. <laughs> normally natural. Uh -huh. Yeah. You're totally natural. Yeah. Because uh, it <laughs> suits the happy well. Exactly. You just want to make it feel happy on these particular days. Exactly. All right, I like that. So uh, you remember starting out, yeah? You started out working for someone or you went straight into having Okay, uh, I started working in a beauty shop. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was working for someone that is, uh -huh. I was being paid. Uh -huh. Yeah. So what what inspired me to go out there as a makeup artist? Uh -huh. I worked for like three years mm -hmm. for someone mm -hmm. selling makeup. Mm -hmm. Then it was... Uh, selling and applying. Selling and applying at the same time. So mm -hmm. you know, you have to apply someone to buy. Mm -hmm. So you you have to apply them. They see what it, it looks like. Mm -hmm. If they like, they buy. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was doing. And I was doing it for free. Right. Then I was being paid by the company. The company yeah. who's, which is supplying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. How much capital did you start with? And how did you raise the capital? Okay. They started pay. They used to pay me at 15000 per month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what inspired me actually mm -hmm. uh, to like be a makeup artist mm -hmm. instead of making business for people mm -hmm. is uh, okay one day I just woke up took a book mm -hmm. I started uh, like writing what I sell every day mm -hmm. I could see I sell a lot of cash like mm -hmm. maybe a hundred K in a day mm -hmm. when in it's terms a good market exactly in uh -huh. terms of sale and that is beauty alone mm -hmm. you do the lipstick the mm -hmm. foundations and all uh -huh. all about the makeup stuff uh -huh. nothing else Why? so I said to myself if, if I can make a day like more than 50 or to 100 uh -huh. and these guys are paying me 15k monthly uh -huh. you understand the, so there is a discrepancy exactly. up at yet, yeah. and it's my work selling because uh -huh. i have to talk to them mm -hmm. i have to demonstrate to them mm -hmm. then they buy uh -huh. so this is a good thing and i'm doing it so well so why why don't i do my it thing? for myself uh -huh. you understand uh -huh. so i invested on makeup uh -huh. i started with with Vitu Kidogo Kidogo, I didn't uh -huh. do so much, so uh -huh. I can say a budget of like 10k. Mm -hmm. That's so you what started I started buying with. Yeah. Product, small, small, pole, yeah. pole, pole, pole. and then you started. Uh, how did you get your first clients? Or oh, you got them the same way you used to get your exactly. clients while selling the makeup? Yeah, yeah. So you used yeah, your. The, the same, same clients uh -huh. who have stood by me till mm -hmm. now, they have made me who I am today. Wonderful. We have some pictures on the screen right there of people you have worked with, and uh, you make them look so, so gorgeous. Wow. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so tell me what is happening here. Okay, sometimes I, I do weddings mostly. Uh -huh, so this so is a wedding. wedding team, yeah. All right. Yeah. So these are the wedding clothes or these are just uh, the ones? Rob, uh -huh. before they do their actual clothes. Then they take a photo shoot before All right. they yeah. Oh, it's some form of culture. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the knowledge. Yeah. Uh, for those of us who might get married <laughs> sometime in future. All right. So I can see different skin tones. Yeah. On these, uh, on this, uh, you can take me back to the, the previous picture, please. I can see different skin tones, uh, but this is also a beautiful one. Yeah. But please take me back to that one. Yes, I can see different skin tones 
uh, on different people. Yeah. Uh, does this define the direction the makeup is going to take? Yeah, sometimes it does, uh -huh. depending on the skin itself. Uh -huh. Sometimes you, you, you may find it's, it has a, a problematic one, mm -hmm. maybe some acne mm -hmm. spots or something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But by the time you're done with the eyebrows, doing the eyes, mm -hmm. all, you have something in mind. Uh -huh. Okay, she's supposed to use this, to use this, mm -hmm. to use this, so as you can cover. So when you just it's look at somebody. You not tell someone like uh -huh. When you see this face, you have to use it's this. It's subconscious. It flows, exactly. All right. Yeah. So uh, when you see somebody's face from the color to the facial structure, you know exactly what you're going to do exactly. with that. Exactly. Uh, what if somebody comes up with a request and tells you, I want you to do my makeup this and this way? Oh, let's do that. Because, mm -hmm. okay, sometimes you find someone says, okay, I know I'm dark, but I don't want to really look so dark. Mm -hmm. But you see, sometimes it's your work online. Mm -hmm. You can't make someone look so brown and maybe she's not. Mm -hmm have to like you know you enhance find it a bit kiddo find, find some, a way somewhere to, in yeah. between and you see you, you can't can argue with a client uh -huh. so you have to find a way that she has to be satisfied mm -hmm. and at the same time you, you're okay with the make all right uh w that was going to be my next question uh if you ever get people telling you i want to look lighter than i actually look how does this make you feel as an african woman sometimes i advise someone uh -huh. i tell you mm -hmm. I tell them, okay, all I can do, maybe you can do the contours. Uh -huh. The contours means you just highlight the center part, uh -huh. then the other parts has to look like the same. Uh -huh. Yeah, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ex no arrogance is not accepted in business. All right, I like this picture right here. It's uh, This is a photo shoot, right? Yeah, it's a photo uh, shoot. It's a studio photo shoot. Yeah. So you are called in for this uh, to do the makeup, and then she does the shoot. Yeah. Like that. So I'm guessing this you're contracted and paid. Exactly. Uh, so say I'm I'm a solo uh, I'm a solo person yeah. uh, looking to get a photo shoot at a studio. A lady like this one. Yeah. How much would you charge me per hour? Okay. It does it. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter how mm -hmm. many hours you're gonna stay with you because uh -huh. I'm gonna do your makeup like in the next like 30, 35, 40 minutes and uh -huh. I'm out. So uh -huh. it's your role to do the shoots. All right. So yeah, it's not about the hours, but uh -huh. if you need me more, maybe uh -huh. for a day or something, uh -huh. that depends on what you're doing. All right. Yeah. What are some of the craziest requests you've got from clients? Apart from, I want to look lighter than I'm actually. Uh. Sorry? Uh, like killer request to and crazy kabisa ilikushtua. Like people come around you and tell you, mm -hmm. I want to look lighter. Nataka kuwa light kiasi. Na jamii nimdak, but unia keni kuwa light kiasi. Mm -hmm. Apart from you, mm -hmm. uh, tell me another crazy request to me pata from a client. Anataka sijum fanya ivi na ivi na ivi. So what? there are others. They just look at your photo for you. Then they just take a photo, or uh -huh. rather they take a photo from somewhere. Uh -huh. They want to look like the same. Or they want to look exactly, exactly like, like another the same person. person. Right. But you see, we are different. Mm -hmm. So they're like. You see the Nigerian makeup. This makeup is so nice. I want this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Totally, different. totally different. It's your role to talk to your clients, uh -huh. convince make them, talk to them nicely. Yeah. Exactly. Makeup can yeah, at the end of the day, like business person. has to be done. <laughs> <laughs> business has to be done. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah. All right. Uh, you've worked with quite a number of celebrities. Yeah. Uh, I'll pick two. Yeah. Yeah, the list is endless. I will be posting them on social media <laughs> or on a social media, which is going to be telling us in a few. But uh, number one, how was it uh, working with Piera McKenna? Piera, Piera is, a, is an easy woman. Mm -hmm. She's easy to like uh -huh. interact with. Mm -hmm. She's a good person. Right. I can say she has an attitude or anything. Uh -huh. She's an inspiration to young girls like us out there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, being a mother and everything. Exactly. All right. And how was it working with Lady JD? Lady JD was kind of so down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. At the same time, not so. Uh -huh. So you can't tell so much about JD. Uh, but you share culture, yeah? Kind of. <laughs> All right, I like that. Uh -huh. So uh, on to our next. Uh, we have another picture on screen. Uh, this is also another photo shoot. Yeah. Uh, this is quite interesting. What is happening here? Okay, we were doing uh, African inspiration uh, shoot. Mm -hmm. We wanted to accessorize more of African turbans and stuff mm -hmm. yeah, to present African culture. All right. 
you've done the cover of True Love magazine yeah. a couple of times. Yeah. How did you get this deal? Because there are so many makeup artists out there who are like, if I get the cover of True Love, I've <laughs> made it in life. To be honest, mm-hmm. um, I don't know what to tell you, mm-hmm. but I just got a call. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a referral. Okay, in our industry, it doesn't like, you don't, it's not that you go searching for clients. Mm-hmm. Okay, the better you are with your business, the way you handle it, uh-huh. that's the way you trend. Uh-huh. You understand? Uh-huh. Give you referrals. Uh-huh. Okay, for so me to get to the True Love magazine. To, uh, satisfy your clients yeah. so you can get referrals as much as possible. All right. It's about your personality, the way you do your work, the way you relate. Uh-huh. That's it, yeah. All right. So you got a call, uh, went for a meeting. Did you oh, have to present a proposal or something? No, 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 no. Actually, the CEO called me herself. Kate mm-hmm. Odera called me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I went to meet her. Mm-hmm. I was so excited and I'm like, oh my goodness. My dream this is, is coming. <laughs> exactly. Uh-huh. This is a big thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. Nothing right. else. I didn't write nothing. Uh-huh. And she was so confident with me. She, she, Okay, she uh-huh. told me that she'd been looking, uh, yani following me on my page and all uh-huh. and seeing my work. That's it. All that's right. how I, I like got that. the work. So uh, she got impressed with the work as well. Yeah. So your work is speaking. Yeah, I guess. Yes, what do you A satisfied client <laughs> is the best form of marketing. That's how you get referrals. Yeah. Uh, what do herself? So many pictures uh, uh, are flying by. Uh, and uh, we can't talk about all of them. Uh, what I'd like to know yeah. right now uh, is Maju uh, Chak's makeup. Yeah. Yeah. What are you dealing in? Are you only uh, making people, uh, are you dolling people up or you're also dealing in makeup products or beauty products? Okay, what I normally do, mm-hmm. uh, so far, maybe that will be my next project, mm-hmm. dealing with the make- selling makeup actually. Mm-hmm. But since I used to work in a beauty shop, mm-hmm. I had interest in skincare somehow. Mm-hmm. So I know about skincare. Mm-hmm. So when I get that client who has a problematic uh, like skin, mm-hmm. sometimes I advise what to use. Mm-hmm. I have that an- I have that knowledge that I can tell you what to use and it works right. for you. Thank you anyway, very much for bringing that up. Uh, would you share some knowledge with us on how maybe you can deal with acne on okay. your face? Acne sometimes is hormonal, yeah. Mm-hmm. So what you normally do, control your diet much, mm-hmm. take too much water. Mm-hmm. Okay. Too um, water is key. Yeah. When you, when you have acne. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Then check your diet. Uh-huh. Acne mostly is uh, kind of brought by too much cholesterol uh-huh. sometimes. Uh-huh. You can tell. Uh-huh. Yeah, so when you do that, all right. So skin care routine means uh, washing your skin. Well yeah, exactly. In the morning yeah. and before you sleep. Yeah. Uh, drinking so much water. Yeah. And reducing cholesterol. Yeah, exactly. No chicken for you. Exactly. If you have take too much vitamins. Acne, take so much go. vitamins, vegetables, skuma, spinach, ni sour. Like in easy cuckoo's at town upon. Ata kama ni once in a while, you know, we crave. All right, you might crave for them. Yeah. All right, uh, we can't uh, go away without talking about this particular picture. It's diff. It's a different form of makeup. Yeah. And uh, in what setting would you, would you advise somebody to look like this? Because it's quite beautiful, but I don't see somebody walk into the office like this. Chai. Uh huh. Uh huh. What we normally do when you can see those two powders, candle, candle, they uh-huh. see at the center, and uh-huh. it, those are highlights, yeah? Uh-huh. It's called contour. Contours. Oh, the same contours you were talking about. Yeah, exactly. All right. You can, okay, when someone has a round face or something, mm-hmm. you can try and slim the face, looks a bit, slim okay. a bit. Okay. Yeah, by doing that. So you agree with the <laughs> brothers who say makeup is false advertising. <laughs> I won't put you on the spot so much about this. You can share your social media handles uh, with the viewers so that they, c- if they'd like to get some services from you yeah. and uh, get some tips from you on how to take care of their skin, uh, they can hit you up. Okay, so, so my IG handle is mo- uh, at, mo- at makeup by Moju Chucks and my Moju Chucks makeup. Maju Chucks yeah, makeup. Yeah, if you like, follow me on that. Maju, I think, is self-explanatory. Yeah. Maybe you can spell the Chucks for us. C H A K S. C H A K S. Yes. Maju is M W A J U. So Maju Chucks. Yeah. Makeup by Maju Chucks on Instagram. Yeah. Maju Chucks makeup on Facebook. Yeah. 
I love that. So that is the way they can interact with you. With you. Yeah. How has Instagram influenced or affected your business? It has never affected my business, uh-huh. but all my clients could tell me, you know, you know what, Maju? Because on Facebook, I'm doing so well. Mm-hmm. I started with Facebook, actually. Uh-huh. And Facebook, okay, I have a good line uh-huh. of... I, I have a good line of market on Facebook, uh-huh. which I started with. So my clients could tell me, wait, you know what? Um, like IG, mm-hmm. why mm-hmm. don't you start a page on IG? Mm-hmm. It's one year old right now. Oh, it's one year yeah. old. Oh, that's why you say it hasn't have had an effect yeah. on your business as much. Yeah. But Facebook, you get but clients. But uh, being one year old now, mm-hmm. I think it has done something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because at something. least they have like 3,000 and uh, one something followers. followers. Yeah. Are they predominantly female, yeah. your followers? Mostly, right. yeah. Because it's beauty. It's all about beauty. It's all about beauty. Yeah. Uh, the last question of the day before you speak a, a word of inspiration to yeah. the to the queens out there. Yeah. Is that makeup for men? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, when I used to do TV, uh-huh. I used to do makeup for men. Uh-huh. And when I used to do the series, uh-huh. I have worked with the uh, nini, uh, shows, uh-huh. I used to do men. So, uh-huh. okay, there are, there are no makeup specifically for men. Mm-hmm. They are the same, same makeup that we use, mm-hmm. we use on men, uh-huh. but we know how to use them. Oh, it's just how you use them. <laughs> exactly. It's not what you use. There's no yeah. specific makeup yeah. for men. All right. I figured that out. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming through, Majoma, but you can't leave without sending a, a word of encouragement or your word from your experience as uh, something just tell something to the queens out there who are watching you somebody who wants to be a makeup artist like you or somebody who wants to try something just uh, out of the norm and uh, do them do it by themselves okay it keep pushing mm-hmm. have passion be be that person that this is where i want mm-hmm. go for it mm-hmm never give up okay it may not be good today tomorrow and the day after tomorrow but try me after sometimes it's gonna give you what you want yeah so always keep pushing keep pushing that's uh-huh. my word keep pushing keep pushing that's the key word yeah exactly. and i like what you said earlier about uh how uh, an impressed client is the best exactly. form of marketing yeah because you get uh recommendations you get recommended uh, in other places as well exactly. and that's how you got to be uh-huh. mm-hmm. all their referrals if you get a call try me all i've right. been referred to you by i've been told by uh, yeah those are the things that trends in my business all right uh um there's a question coming in from the viewers i'm told uh somebody wants to know uh would you recommend uh makeup products or beauty products made in Kenya don't uh, mention a specific brand or do you use uh, products made in Kenya by chance? Yeah I normally do because I what I believe in if they are legit and genuine mm-hmm. we are supposed to, to to support our fellow Kenyans before mm-hmm. we go out there mm-hmm. so there are those good brands. Mm-hmm. How do you know the difference between legit and genuine? Don't mention any brand please. Okay okay out of my experience no, I've done those legit makeups from US, UK, and all. Mm-hmm. So I have that knowledge that you can see, plus the pricing. Uh-huh. Yeah. The pricing is always a factor. Yeah, exactly. Don't go for cheap. Yeah. Your skin is very important. Exactly. Uh, it's yeah. what people see, <laughs> the first thing people see. Yeah. Uh, all right, send some shout outs. Uh, who would you like to, anybody who has helped you get this far? Okay, uh, I would love to say. This mm-hmm. this one chick we used to struggle together. Mm-hmm. She's called Nemo Lin Saki. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we struggled together. She's my inspiration till today. Mm-hmm. She pushed me to be the person I am today. Mm-hmm. I'm so grateful. All right. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you very much for coming, Juma. We appreciate you. Keep pushing. Um, Mwaju Chak's makeup on Facebook. Yeah, never and give ma- up on your dream. Never give up on your dream. Yeah. Uh, makeup by Mwaju Chak's. Uh, on Instagram. Yeah. That's the way to reach you. Yeah. And uh, you'll be willing to solve all their skin problems. Exactly. Skin and beauty problems. Whoever have, all they right. should reach out to me. All right. Yes, this is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And you had it from Majuma herself, the CEO and founder of Maju Chaks Makeup. Uh, you can find her at uh, Makeup by Maju Chaks on Instagram or Maju Chaks Makeup on Facebook. 
and uh, she'll be there to solve all your beauty problems and uh, all your skin solutions. So yes, this is the first segment of Entrepreneurship Tuesday. I go by the name of Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moses on every social media platform. Joy Muchache will be coming up next with another inspiring interview, so don't go nowhere. Thank you.